Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Merci. Back home now. I've already been drinking uh, almost a glass of water. Now it's time to do my protein shake. One cup of berries. Raspberries and blueberries. I measure everything except for dessert. One cup of water. There were some berries left in there. Two cups of protein. Then I use about one teaspoon of almond butter. This one is unsweetened. All right, now it's time to take a shower. And here is my bathroom. We actually have three bathrooms, but this one is my studio's bathroom. So here's where I keep everything. Now I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm going to take this thing with me. This is a glove that I have from Loving Tan and it's amazing to exfoliate the skin before you apply self-tan. Okay, now I got out of the shower. The first thing that I do after I get out of the shower is to use deodorant. And this video is in partnership with a native and I wish that I knew about this partnership back in January when I have ordered deodorants from their website, not knowing about this thing. I've been using native deodorant for quite a while. I've been talking about this uh, a lot. Now they have a plastic free version. I will put a picture in here with a plastic free version. The reason why I like to use native is because it's aluminum free, it's paraben free. It's a safer deodorant for myself and ever since I've started to use it, I think back in June last year, I've been super happy with it. It's uh, not sticky at all. This, this, this one oh, smells so good. This is a new one uh, from the Jungalo collection. It's tangerine and citrus blossom. As you can see, it's like not sticky or weird texture, nothing at all. Normally a pack of three deodorants are $39, but if you use the code and the link in my description box, you will get them with $29. I suggest you to get the pack of three because you know, you never want to run out of deodorant. Part of my self-care routine is to self-tan. When you apply self-tan, or at least the self-tanning lotion that I'm gonna apply, um, it's a type of self-tan that I need to let it sit for like seven, eight hours in order to develop the color. What I like to do is not wash my hair right now, apply a mask on my hair while I let the self-tan develop. And then at the end of the day, or sometimes like next day, it really depends when I do this routine, I like to shower again and then wash my hair. This is my absolute favorite hair mask. It's from Sisley. It's called Restructuring Nourishing Balm. It's one of those products that are worth the money. I take little hair sections like so. And I focus this on the ends. I apply this mask, I would say, at least once a week. Else I think my hair wouldn't have survived all the coloring that I've been doing lately. And that's it for my hair. I have a little something for the lips everywhere in this house. This is the Self Tan Watermelon Infusion. It smells really, really nice, but I honestly use the Loving Tan quite a lot, but it's, a, it's an Australian brand and I don't find that in Europe. And whenever I try to order it, the taxes are crazy for me. I'm happy if the brand sends me the product. I mean, if not, I buy the Saint-Tropez. But what's great about both of these products, Loving Tan and Saint-Tropez, is that when they are coming off, when the tan comes off, you don't feel it. Like it's, it's not coming off in a weird way or anything like it. You absolutely have to have a mitt if you want to self-tan. Uh, and I've been loving the Vita Liberata or the Saint-Tropez. Both of them are amazing. Don't get the mitt from Loving Tan. I personally do not like it. And you have to hydrate the parts of your body that are the driest. So I apply a little bit on the elbows and then I also apply it on the back of my hand. You're gonna see on my arms what a difference it makes. I just do circular motions. I love my timing here. Being with myself, applying or 
all my lotions and potions. I would suggest it's better if you do this in front of a mirror so that you could see the places that maybe you skipped. I need a brush because I'm not gonna apply self tan on my hands and on my neck with the mitt. And the ears. Same thing for the hands. You don't wanna use the mitt. I mean, you could, but it's much, much better if you use a brush. Okay, now I got self tan all over. And I usually like to wear clothes that are dark because right after you apply self tan, it's going to stain your clothes. But once you have the first shower, you know, you're good. It's not gonna stain any clothes. So I like to wear this like black uh, rope around the house. Now I'm gonna take care of my face. And uh, I guess Sundays is when I'm being extra bougie and you don't need to use something expensive in order to self care. Okay, I just have it. I'm gonna use the replenishing oil exfoliator from La Mer in combination with the cleansing lotion. This is a scrub. Looks like this. And then I'm going to mix it with one, two pumps of the La Mer cleansing lotion. Make a little mixture. I had a masterclass on Zoom with La Mer and they were teaching us how to use their product. This, you guys, smells divine. This alone is my self-care. I would say I apply this about once a week. It smells like a dream. It's very gentle. I'm gonna take two bamboo pads. Get rid of this. I'm gonna apply a mask and I'll use this one from Biologie Recherche. This is the Biomagic Mask. And I love being extra and I'm gonna use a brush. This is an energizing mask. I used to apply a mask almost every single night or morning. You guys, I better eat something before my stomach kills me from the inside out. We were supposed to apply this on the décolleté too, but I've got self tan. I'm going to keep this mask for about 20 minutes. What I what I usually do is I scroll through Instagram while I have a mask on, but not this time. This time I'm gonna go prepare something to eat. Okay, made something. Now I'm gonna just sit on the couch. All right, I'm back and you could tell that this mask has done some things. This is a great mask if you have large pores, very, very oily skin because this will like take all the dirt out of your pores. It's really amazing. Okay, now I've taken the mask off and I'm gonna apply the serum Placenta, which is my favorite serum. This is great if you had acne or you still have acne. It really helps with the scars and the pigmentation that you have on skin and I like to tap it under the eyes as well a little bit this is that type of serum that can be used under the eyes skin is like a sponge so do the press release motions all the time when you're applying skincare and my vitamin C serum. This one is from Sunday Riley. And I've been trying a lot of vitamin C serums and I have to tell you, for me, this one is my absolute favorite. I see a difference when I use this vitamin C serum. This is not the original size. I apply the vitamin C day and night. It's a great antioxidant. I truly, truly love this one in particular. I don't always use something under my eyes, but right now I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm extra dry. The dryness will be solved by the Sisley Eye Contour Mask. And I use a very, very small amount, like super small amount. For my daily moisturizer, I have, for my daily moisturizer, it really depends. I love the Augustinus Bader, the cream, the rich cream, I would use it at night 
but not every night. It's a very, very nice moisturizer. If I would leave the house today, I would apply SPF, but I don't. I'm just gonna lay on the couch, do nothing. I'm the type of person who loves, obviously, to apply makeup. So even in the days when I'm just doing nothing and I am, I could be like completely by myself, I still like to apply makeup on because the truth is I don't do it for anybody else. I do it for myself and I just love to feel pretty. It's all about the way I feel. Maybe, you know, people around me won't even see the difference but for me it's just important the way i feel so even on sundays when i do so much skincare i still like to apply very very little makeup basically this is what i have in my bathroom at all times a tinted brow gel a concealer foundation and a little mirror and then i just got this from my kit this is the eyelash curler i love to curl my lashes the reason why i don't use mascara on sundays because it's taking a little extra step to take it off at night. So I'm like, no, curl the lashes. Okay. And like I said, I use a little bit of concealer. This is the Touche Cla High Cover. And I don't have to use a lot, just enough to sort of even out the skin. I have to say I do wait about two minutes after I do my skincare before I actually apply makeup. And then in terms of foundation, I love to use the Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow. This is a pretty old foundation, but I've only discovered it like three or four years ago. There are other foundations that have very luminous and dewy finish. This is very dewy. But what I love this the most about is the color. The color Golden 4, it's really that warm yellow olive undertone that I absolutely need for my skin. I apply it just like uh, I would do with my moisturizer. Just dot it and then swipe it. This is the perfect color for when I self tan. So even if right now, this is a little bit too dark for me, in like one hour, this will be perfect. I don't know if you could tell how beautiful this foundation is and it's super, super natural. And then I do apply just something for the eyebrows. My eyebrows will get much lighter in summer. I guess it's uh, only natural. Especially here at the ends when, where I don't have a lot of hairs. So I use a tinted brow gel and I love the legendary brows. This is in the darkest color, black brown. I don't leave this bathroom without applying some sort of fragrance and I do have a lot of fragrances, I have to tell you. It's really a matter of like, what am I in the mood for today? One of them is uh, this one, this is quite new in my collection. It's from Essential Parfum, it's called The Musk. This smells really, really good. Now that's pretty much it, you guys. Probably I'll make myself a smoothie or a tea or just watch Netflix. But that's pretty much my self-care routine for Sunday. I think that self-care, it's different for everybody. For me, this is my self-care. I enjoy so much being in here. On Sunday, when I feel like I'm not in a rush to do anything, I just enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.